So what we're going to do now is make the layout size larger so your player has, has more place, places to play. Um, the layout size is currently, currently 800 by 600. I'm going to change that to 1600 by 600. So now it's twice as wide. Notice now if we scroll over, we can see more, more of a layout space. Now our window size is still um, 800 by 600, which means that you're just going to still see the same amount of space, but your playable area is, is larger. So that's what happens when we play it. Okay, your player runs off the screen, but instead of wrapping, he's actually still on the layout, but you just can't see him. So we need to do something called, um, let's see here, let's go to the player behavior, and we need to add a behavior called scroll to, okay? So now it's what happens when we play it. Okay, now the screen moves moves around like you would see. Now watch what happens when he gets to the end of it. He actually wraps back to the beginning over there. Okay, uh, let's take off the scroll too because because that's not really good for this game to have now. So let's actually go to behaviors and let's take off the wrap. Okay. And let's actually make it so that if he goes, um, well, watch this now. Okay, if you actually run it now and go over here, he, he actually falls off the screen and your player is basically dead. So that's not very fun. So let's actually do something called bound to layout, which means that the player is going to be bound to the layout. And, and if you uh, play it, he can't go any farther past there, and he can't go any farther over this way past this layout, okay? So he kind of keeps him on, on the screen so he can't fall off. Um, so let's actually add some more platforms over here. And this is done the same way. You would go to Sprite, and let's just call this Platform 4. And let's, let's just make it blue for now, it doesn't matter. And let's uh, make it about like that. And then let's make another platform over here. Um, and let's make them blue and make it about here. And let's call this one platform five. And we need to add the solid behavior to both of these, otherwise it'll just fall through. Okay, now if we run it. Okay, so you can actually make your game as wide as you want. I mean, you could have it, um, if, Come over here to the layout side. You could change that to be like three thousand, or you know, say thirty-six hundred. So then you would need to, um, of course, drag your ground over. And what I'm doing here is doing Control Scroll to make the window size shrink. Okay. And uh, so now we have a much larger area to run around on. So we can make the game a whole lot bigger. And of course, I don't have anything over here, so you can't really tell. But I'll get to the end eventually. See. Okay. So that's how you make your layout larger and keeping your window size the same. Okay. And that's it for now.